It has been clearly shown in old red format for the past two and a half years that generic cards are extremely important to the nation as not only it can provide a support for multiple decks at once, it's actually lift the deck up in terms of competitiveness as well. So today I'm going to be talking about 10 nation generic cards specifically that actually change the way each other nation play the game. Do note that I decide not to include nation less card into this list purely because of the fact that all of them are more useful than most of the cards that I'm putting in this list. So if if I'm including nationless card, it's just gonna overpopulate it. And secondly, I'm going to put only one entry for each of the cycle card group. Like for example, if I put Toll Pass into this list, you guys won't be seeing cards like Emerada or Amitis because they are belong within the same group. Starting off with number 10 might be a little bit of a surprise for a lot of you guys. We have Clear Shimmer Aura. Clear Shimmer Aura to me is a good relic in the past that we shouldn't forget about as it is still useful, especially considering that we are going to be receiving more relic card red line as we move on into Divine's era. As it is a really good pressure card that can force your opponent to decide whether to minus one to yourself by guarding or letting your opponent plus one with the filter because of aura skill essentially help you to search for any other cards. The only reason I'm putting it in number 10 though is the fact that it doesn't see as much play as the deck that does use it no longer is meta like Lutetia for example but the cards may become relevant again if there is an order based bright line that actually is meta in radical. <laughs> Moving on to number 9, we have Soul Funeral Dragon Noctal Gyo. Noctal Gyo is relatively fresh into this list, purely due to the fact that it generates so much resource for the deck that is capable of using it, as it essentially go plus 3 in total resource, nice. 2 to Soul, and 1 plus into your hand, while still work double as defensive card, provided you are at grade 4 or having a grade 4 cards in your hand. The only reason why I have to put it in number 9 is because there are not that many decks that actually can use it, and even within the deck that can use it, only two decks can more or less utilize it extremely well. Number 8 of this list is a card that everyone will be familiar and I would have to say it is kind of like a face of Ridicule in terms of generic card, Cooling Heart Yuiga. What Yuiga does bring to any Ridicule deck in general is it enabling bouncing for any deck which is very good, especially we have seen with a lot of Bermuda deck we have seen over the past close to 15 years by now. And in my honest opinion, the biggest plus about bouncing card back to hand is the fact that you can reuse your resource almost every single turn. Synergy. But the only reason why I'm willing to put it in this low on the list is purely because of the fact that yes it is a good 13k booster that can bounce but the problem is that it also rely on the rear guard that it is boosting <laughs> Moving on to number 7 and the only Dragon Empire entry, Defending Raw. I have to think for the longest time what to put into this entry for Dragon Empire because Dragon Empire doesn't really have a lot of generic card that actually makes a difference. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! At least by the time I record this video. And in my honest opinion, Defending Raw seems to be the most generic that can actually make a lot of difference in a lot of decks. This is due to the fact that it actually is very powerful in utility because as long as you are not using Sentinel with this Blitz Sorter, you can return any card that is on the card circle back to hand. And this is an incredible card because of the fact that you can actually use this to recycle any on-place record on your field by intercepting it first, then use the order to activate the skill. Or you can just simply throw a over trigger together with this Blitz Sorter, having generating a 60k shield card while still being able to reuse the Dragon Empire over trigger one more time. The only reason why it is in number 7 of this list is because of the fact that it is not important enough to actually select it over a more important card in your deck. It is a very good tech option that you can put in if you can, but it is not a priority. <laughs> At the bottom of the first half of our list, we have Borrow Mushroom. Borrow Mushroom, I would have to say, is easily one of the strongest cards when it comes to regard generation. As not only it gives you two free regard, it also gives you a free soul, which is actually a great card to use in a lot of decks that both needs a regard and also soul. And surprisingly enough, there's a lot of decks that overlap into this category, with decks like Leonon, Varroa, and also Claudine. And you have to consider the one Claudine. normal order that actually boosts the token as well. The token mechanic is getting better over time but this might not be everyone's cup of tea because of the fact that it is only 5k booster so for a lot of deck it might not be able to hit magic number that you really want it and in my honest opinion this card is heavily interchangeable with Dianta because both more or less do a very similar job but I choose borrow mushroom instead of Dianta because of the fact that it is free like it generates more resource than Dianta <laughs> 
Moving on to number 5, the bottom half of the top list, we have Yellow Jewel Beast Topaz. In my honest opinion, a card that can give any Kita deck a free superior card that doesn't really require you to pay a soul or a counter blast. I mean, technically you do have to pay the soul if your right deck is in the soul, but you can get definitely get away with it. But regardless, the fact that you can just give any deck free superior card is really good and top 5 is a very respectable number for a card that actually capable of superior call anything. The only problem I have to say with this card that kind of makes it stuck at number 5 is because of the fact that this card you can only use it twice and most of the time you most likely only use its superior call skill once per game and most likely the other one you will use it for additional shield value. And not only that, for some deck you don't really want to put your grade 3 from the right line back to your right deck because you rather use it to pay the cost for something else. <laughs> Moving on to number 4, so we have Sickle Bed of Inquest Habitable Zone. Yes, the grade 2 cycle card representative has to be Habitable Zone because it makes the most impact out of the 5 cards that was released. And in my honest opinion, it is a very strong set of the recycler to begin with because of the fact that you literally just get a free cost while not losing your decks or hand size. The only thing that you lost is your soul. And in my honest opinion, what made this card is so strong is the fact that it helped you to filter out any order and allow you to play for free. So with exception of one or two decks in bracket, this card is capable of being used in any deck. But the problem here is kind of the fact that this has to be used on turn 4 onward because that's the earliest turn you can use for Persona right? And both of the bracket mass deck doesn't really want to use Habitable Zone too much. <laughs> Then we have number Mitsushi Divine Knight of Deeply Lay Stratagem suggests. This, in my opinion, is the best beater in the game. As it is capable of beating over anything, inclusive of triggers, on top of giving some deck manipulation and so. In my opinion, that is all it needed to be on number 3 on this list. Only reason why it doesn't get any higher is because for one, not all the deck is capable of using suggest effectively as some deck do use more counter blast than others, but it is still a very easy to put in generic card for any heater deck. And and in my honest opinion, the top 2 has way more time to actually shine compared to Sarger. <laughs> Number 2 is Blue Artillery Dragon in Let Cross Dragon. This was one of the strongest free resource and attacker in the game. As in its own archetype, it works as a 2 attack card while still giving a free draw, but they decided to make a free draw skill a generic effect. This means that any deck in stock here that can do a multiple attack is eligible to run in Let Pulse Dragon. Even just for a draw 1 effect cost plus 1 draw and so are actually extremely crucial for these decks that are capable of using in Let Pulse. Not only that, there is a lot of deck that is capable of recycling in Let Pulse Dragon, even within its own engine or with the generic engine that Stalker already has. The only reason why it is unable to beat number 1 is because of the fact that in Let Pulse can be quite intrusive in certain deck, especially in current meta where a lot of cards do more than just one job or at least doing one job but extremely well. And that is what in Let Pulse is doing. But I do feel that the number 1 spot fit in the deck a lot less intrusively compared to in Let Pulse. <laughs> Moving on to number 1, and I'll be honest, no one should surprise to see this card in this entry. It is Detonation Monster Boba Mine. Not the Boba, Boba Mine. And in my honest opinion, it is very well deserved because of the fact that it gives a very healthy amount of resource at the most unintrusive way possible. You see, what this card gives is a free counter charge and a soul, which is very useful for almost any deck in Branket. On top of that, the fact that it is grade 1 means that you can use it as a boosting, which is also its activation cost which allow you to use any other card as a beater unlike in Let pulse where it is a great tree so you can't even use it for boosting or you have to use it as a vanilla attacker and not only that boba mine has been around since the launch of overdress that is a testament of how busted this stupid card is and in my honest opinion it will still be for a longest time until the format is rebooted and that is my top 10 nation generic cards what do you guys think do leave down the comments of your own tier list and what are some of the cards that I should have taken into the consideration. And yeah, that's all I have for today. Take care of yourself and this is Mac Mechanic signing out.